Pawn. Okay. He wants to run past everybody. He's going to straight away lock in the Vladimir, so I'm very upset. I wanted the Pantheon. We saw the counter pick not work at all, and I wanted Pawn to prove us wrong. Battle. They want to try and switch. The aggro spirit steals it away and score. Has to flash. Dodges the Q, but no! It doesn't even matter. His spirit just jumps on him with the safeguard. My god. Absolutely fine as Marin and Spirit are going to catch up with Smeb, who's just trying to clear as many minions as he possibly can before he inevitably dies. And that's the second one for Spirit. Cleaning up here in the early game. I mean, the control ward is stuck in the tri brush. And another pirate item. I guess it could be a gunblade. <gasps> we oh, saw the. I like Smitty, how the false gunblade storyline actually happened. <laughs> yeah, I know. We had a LeBlanc we didn't with gunblade. Even sell it. Oh, God. Arrow's going to land though on to Kramer. He's exploding so much damage. He's trying to get something off before he dies, but no. Not enough onto death. And we've seen this before. Can score get the steal on this Baron as Marin's taking a lot of damage. Equalizer doesn't do necessarily as much as we were expecting. Score gets in there, but it is going to be smote away from by Spirit. Smeb's in there. Oh my god, KT are tearing them apart. Triple kill there for the Vladimir in the mid lane. And KT going off the arrow. Oh my goodness, that was a from downtown, but Kurt played before. As we'll hold that thought because Pawn's really overextended. Yeah, Thrill of the Hunt is actually used, but Pawn's just dead. I don't know why he used his flash just there as Kuro's looking to try and chase after Score. Teleport is down for no gain, and now Score wants to kill Marin. Yep, and the arrow's gonna land, and Marin is most certainly dead. So, that uh, two minute cooldown that you were talking about, uh, full effect. If it was on a 25 second cooldown. Pawn just says, Take me instead! It'll be fine as Deft is gonna turn up eventually. The arrow does land everyone on top of one another, but it's two picks, one after the other, and in goes Kuro Smeb with another disengage ultimate here, but Spirit wants to lock him down this time. There's no flash to save him, and Afrika Freaks, they get the fight that they were looking for. And this time, their uh, priority in terms of fights is super long cooldown now, and remember, it's a larger cooldown. Equalizer. This build, as the Equalizer comes in, oh, Pawn has to go into his pool, but Tucson immediately yeah. gets on top of him. Kuro is gonna pick up that kill and score, is immediately gonna die afterwards. The curtain call was there, and Marin up in that front line on this Rumble that does so much damage. Oh, there's another flash. Double Tucson flash. is so aggressive tonight. They just want to end the game. There's only four members of KT. Good wave there, but they're going to try for it. Yeah, this. So Look at that. Oh, Death gets kicked back. Spirit is having the game of his life right now. Smeb's going to die at the same time. A double for Kramer. It, Nexus turrets are going to be wiped off the map. And in such a strange game. Afrika take down KT in what feels like just a step-by-step -step process. Now what you'll see, and the reason why, I love the fact that you caught step-by-step -step because they didn't make many mistakes here, Atlas. That was not the Afrika Freaks of the first round, Rob. And of course, you're going to say the same thing about KT.